hello and thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to unbox and review Ida B. Wells Barbie, part of the Inspiring Women Barbie Signature line. Now, I'm really excited about this doll. Number one, I've heard of by Ida B. Wells, but I really wasn't sure, like I didn't have a lot of information about her, so it prompted me to do some research and I found out just how amazing this woman really, really was and that I had no idea. And number two, she looked really, really beautiful. I loved the way the dress looked. And I assumed that this was the Mibley sculpt, but they're saying this is a brand new sculpt. So let's take a closer look at the Ida B. Wells Barbie. So this is the shipper for Barbie signature Ida B. Wells Barbie, part of the Inspiring Women series. So let's get this shipper open. What our box looks like. Looks like they have it in tissue paper. Very nice. Let's see if we can do a shake a shake a shake a. It's a slow one. Okay, a violent shake a shake. Okay, well, actually, let me not do a violent shake a shake a shake because I don't want to mess up my doll. Let me pull this out like a rational human being. So let's get this torn open. Oh, my language is so violent. I don't like that. Oh, and look at her look at the little dusty but let's see if we can get a closer look at this doll well, let's see if we can get that reflection off of her but look at her and this is a brand new sculpt they call this the ida b well sculpt and he said it was sculpted to her likeness very cool we'll take a closer look at her but i just do love that they have the books behind her and also in her chair, so, and you can see her typewriter. So she is in her office running in her newspaper. And let's see if I can get the rest of this tissue paper off. We have a nice picture of Ida B. Wells and says Barbie Signature, and of course, her name part of the Inspiring Women series. And I am going to turn the box to the back, and of course, we have the same picture, just larger, and it says Ida B. Wells, journalist, activist, suffragist, and it has her information on here. And I will let you pause that if you want to, if you want to read about her, but I really suggest that you go to her Wikipedia page because it is really full of information that I had no idea about this woman. She is absolutely amazing, but you are not here for history. You are here to see what this doll looks like outside of the box. So let's see if I can get her box. I'm not keeping the box, so I don't mind if I tear it. I just don't wanna make have any damage to the doll when I do that. I like to always try to go from the bottom of the box. So let's see if I can pull this out, which will be great because then we won't get perfect. Yes. Now let's take a closer look at her of course she does have the baby hair which is controversial to people I know in the collector community some people are really tired of it but you can see her hairstyle here and also her screening and you see right here behind her is the Memphis Sp free speech and can we really go in on that and see Looks like can we read that Ooh, my eyes I don't know I might try to read that later but whoo Take a look and look at the little books. Obviously, it's just the background of it, but I do love the way it looks back here. It's very nice. But while we're here, we can also take a look at the detail of the dress. This looks like it's something really, really well made. Look at the way that lace is on there. And this feels like really actually thick material. You can see she has her newspaper here, and it looks like she is articulated. And from what I read, she's on the curvy, made-to-move body. So what I would actually like to do is I'd actually like to remove her from the liner here so that we can take a closer look at this doll and see everything that she comes with. So here is a close-up of the Ida B. Wells Barbie with the brand-new sculpt called the Ida B. Well Sculpt, and they say that this was sculpted to her likeness. So I just wanted you to see just a close-up 
of her. I assumed that this was the Mibley sculpt and it is not. So I can't wait to see what they do to, you know, with this sculpt with other dolls. And as you can see, she does have the controversial baby hair. I don't know how you feel about it. I actually don't mind it. I like it. And we can see her hair and it's tied back here. And then from behind, I'm going to pull back so you can just, not so much, you can see the hairstyle. And in fact, since we're back here, hey, wait a minute. It says 2011 Mattel. What's that doing here? I thought they said it was spoken to likeness. All right, we're going to need to do some more research because that's what I read on the Mattel website. So maybe it is Mibley. I don't know. When was Mibley? We'll have to do some research. You guys do some of the research also and put it down in the comments to let us all know. School us, please. So I'm going to pull back. Actually, before I do, I wanted to show you the little lace collar, which is absolutely adorable. I love, love the way that peeks out. And since we're back here, you can see that the dress opens and closes with Velcro in the back, which I don't mind. And you can see some of the lace detail. And I must say that this material is very thick. I gotta catch his lip, obviously, pretty easily. But this is some really nice quality material. This is not cheap stuff. And I really appreciate the fact that they did not skimp with the detail. Look at this on her chest here. It's just really, really beautiful. And of course, she's got a made to move body, the curvy one. So she should be able to do it. Uh, I'm not trust. Maybe I shouldn't trust what's, <laughs> what they say on the website. Let's take a look at her knees. Her knees will tell us what we need to know. Okay. I need to cut these off so that we can see. Let's get some, get my blade. One moment. So, as you can see, these are not made to move knees, which means these are not made to move arms. Thank goodness I didn't press that because made to move arms, you could press it all the way, but with an articulated uh, curvy body, you can't do that. So, make sure that you actually check these dolls yourself. You can't always go by what they say on the website. It really did say curvy made to move, which I thought was an interesting choice, but I don't need all of that made to moveness. This, with the uh, articulated curvy body, we, had, we get a good amount of articulation was just good enough for me. Obviously, the made to move curvy body is the best one in my choice, but in this case, it's not necessary. I don't think Ida B needs to be doing all of that. So she, as you can see, it's articulated. She's got the articulated wrist and arm, but it is not made to move. So don't try to press that back too far. So let me pull her dress down just a little bit more because I just wanted you to see, but you can see she is full figured, which I actually really appreciate that they went with a body like that. But that's not all that you get when you get this doll. You also get this newspaper, and I'm going to go up close so that you can see it. And it's actually like a real newspaper thing that you, she can actually open, you can use in your dioramas. Now, when you go in really close, obviously, it's not in English. I don't know. It looks almost Greek, but, you know, obviously, it's just meant for, you know, uh, diorama thing is actually not meant for you to actually strain your eyes and read. Maybe that was the point. Mattel's like, listen, we're going to protect your eyes. Don't even try it. So very cool. And it's kind of got that pa nice paper feel to it. But in addition, because this is a signature doll, you also get a display stand. Thank goodness. And as you can see, it looks like it will support the body very well. And, you know, when you want to have a, get a doll like this, she definitely needs to come with a display stand. So I'm so glad that Mattel included a display stand with that. But that's not all. You also get, of course, 
a certificate of authenticity. And as you can see, it says Ida B. Wells on there, Barbie doll, Barbie signature, black label. So I wanted to show you a close up of the boots because the gown or dress is actually very long for that time period. Of course, you can't really see them. So I just wanted you to take a look at what the plastic boots look like underneath. So I would like to do a 360 of this doll so that we can take a look at her and her outfit or gown from all angles and also introduce her to our panel to see what they say about this important doll and her dress. I would like to welcome our panel. First, from the house of Shindana, Disco Wanda. Next, queen of the 70s and 80s, Superstar Barbie. And last but not least, actress, model, sick, wait, 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 wait. Wait, Alyssa, what are you doing dressed in this gown? Ugh, you have a note for me. And you say, I wanted Ida to feel more comfortable, so I wore a period gown. <laughs> Alyssa, obviously you have not read Ida B. Wells' Wikipedia page, so we're going to have to have a talk about this after the show. <laughs> All right, enough of Alyssa's foolishness. Let's do a 360 of Barbie signature Ida B. Wells' Barbie. So let's take a look at Barbie signature Ida B. Wells Barbie from all angles. I really love the silhouette of that dress. Look at that. It is really pretty. Like I said, the material is quality material. They did not skimp with this doll. So let's go in and get a closer look. And of course, we've seen the face a little bit earlier, but to see it all together in a 360, I think would be super cool, especially with this being a brand new sculpt, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I need you guys to help me solve the mystery in the comments below. But regardless if it's a new sculpt or not, she is really very beautiful. She did not come with earrings, and maybe I'm usually, you know, a glam. I like to glamorize my dolls, but I guess maybe it's maybe Ida just didn't really wear earrings a lot or jewelry, or I don't know. But it's still super cool, I guess, with the period. I guess they wouldn't have pierced earrings. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. So as you can see, she does have the articulated body, which then means she can actually hold the newspaper that comes with her as you can see and I absolutely love that because the newspaper was really her voice to the world really and I just think it's just so appropriate that she comes with it but not only comes with it but can actually hold it I just I can't tell you how much that means to me just as a, a new fan of Ida B. Wells. And I'd like to really look again at the lace and everything that's at the bottom of the dress and throughout, actually, as you see at the waist and everything. And although it looks really dark, I don't know how it's translating on your computer or however you watch this program or channel, but it actually is not black. It actually in person looks like a navy blue to me, almost black. Or you tell me, is this black or is this navy blue? This looks like a more of a really dark blue. And I just look at that detail there. Really well made. Look at the stitching and everything. And like I said, this material is quality material. I really am very, very happy with what I see with this doll and that is the 360 of barbie signature ida b wells barbie 
So Disco Wanda, I'm going to start with you. What are your thoughts on Barbie signature Ida B. Wells Barbie? And of course you have a note and you say she is one groovy mama jamma. <laughs> Wanda, I don't know if I would describe her that way, but I do agree with the sentiment. Barbie, I was going to ask you for your opinion, but I guess your t-shirt here says it all, and I agree with you. Well said, Barbie. Shame. And Alyssa, Shame. what do you actually have to say for yourself? And you have a note, and you say... Okay, I really just wanted to look cute. <laughs> Alyssa, I had a feeling that was the case, but we're still going to go over Ida B. Wells' Wikipedia page because you should be ashamed, shame, shame. But thank you, panel. So I think this Ida B. Wells doll is absolutely awesome. Number one, I love the way she looks. I love that the dress is really well-made quality and it really is true to the period. I love that she's articulated so that she can hold her own newspaper and she comes with a newspaper. That being said, I also really appreciate the fact that Mattel chose Ida B. Wells to do a tribute doll to because honestly, I didn't know a lot about her. I knew some things, but I really didn't know a lot about her. So I started reading her Wikipedia and started digging. And this woman is truly amazing, truly brave. And I think it's really, I'm, I'm so happy that Mattel would pay tribute to such a wonderful American and human being. So that being said, she is a plus in my book. So if you like this video, and I hope that you did, then please make sure that you click the like button. That's how I know that you like my videos. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, and I wouldn't know why you haven't, but if you have not, there's a little button down there, and you can hit the subscribe button, and then you'll get notified of when I come up with new videos like this one. So thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And check that Wikipedia page. Thank <music> you.